and similarly uh, proceeding further there are four more coloring options available those are some inbuilt color options or, or inbuilt color options so let's talk about that because this will be very handy so there is something called a css for colors so let me open up this web page and show you up so css for colors are actually no the colors color standards designed by w3 w3c okay if you're like a de web developer or developing web pages or uh, want to learn HT html or css okay those uh, print, uh, those guidelines for html and css and all the web page and the guidelines are given by this community w3c okay this organization w3c and they set up what you call as a css for color module wherein they publish some st they publish drafts of uh, the website web colors that you can use in the websites to make it as a, as a form of a standard so in css color in the css color module 4 that we have and that we have since 2016 some of the standard colors are that are available available are these these are the colors that you can available and these are actually web safe colors so if you have some plots and you want to use them in the web page and you want them to be rendered properly okay you can use these co standard colors and these will be properly rendered so they have they're like plenty of colors over here like alice blue antique antique white and several others and all these colors uh, have their name color and at the same time you have an RG, uh, rgb uh, string rgb hex string and at the same time the decimal values gi uh, given in 255 scale so you can you can use these colors if you want and this and uh, instead of accessing it every now and then there is actually an inbuilt uh, inbuilt dictionary inside uh, matplotlib and that is actually called as matplotlib i mean this is the dictionary uh, underscore color underscore data okay so i've imported this matplotlib and uh, dot underscore color underscore data with this name mcd mcd so once i imported it there and inside it there is a subcategory a subcategory of data is inside it called as css for colors and i can plug in the color i want so there is this color called as chocolate inside it which um, let me have a look at that how does that look like because this color slightly vary okay so this chocolate is actually a brownish color with this brownish color over here Sli brownish color brown color with a slight yellow tinge so let's see how this looks like there we go this color is actually a brownish with a slight tinge of yellow and uh, i can use this colors directly or else if i mean instead of importing it directly i can just directly put the word chocolate over here for the color and automatically uh, matplotlib will just go and search in for the color uh, color uh, coordinates inside uh, inside its color data the repositories database and then it'll just pick up the color axis perfect and if you want to know what are the uh, what are all the possible colors that are present you can ac you can use this command line over here and then actually print it you will see it will just print out mcd uh, color colors dot items if you run this it will just print out all the colors that are available this plot is empty so that's okay but if you look at it this dictionary has several colors like peru floral white light slate gray pale green obviously you cannot uh, and there are like if you just go on and on there are like so many colors over here you can pick these colors as per your choice the only thing is you cannot visualize them directly uh, because these are in all in numbers so just you just need to use some kind of uh, color uh, color visualizer to have a look at this likewise you know, proceeding with the same format you have the, you have what you call as a tableau colors tableau colors and that will also do the same that will also give you the same purpose and they also have some set of colors over here and if you want to know what are the tableau colors that are available okay you can you can just search them over here it's available in order dictionary order dictionary uh, like the, uh, this one which has tab and there's a tab colon blue tab colon orange like that you have you can go and check them out uh, this is actually a little limited unlike the the css for colors the, this is actually a little limited but so but anyway you can use them up and uh, what else you can actually specify the co you have to specify these tab colors using this uh, keyword tab in front of it so whenever you specify these colors you put tab under colon beige or something some other color and this will work perfectly okay and now what else do we have here and then there is there is this X, xkcd colors 
And this is actually pretty uh, popular, popular too. And they have their own set of colors available. And to access them, you have to use the keyword XKCD in front and then write the colors. So just to give a run to see, this is actually a navy blue, navy blue color, which is kind of like very dark, very dark. Uh, so it's kind of like a dark blue that is very close to um, black. Okay. And if you want to get an idea of what are the uh, I mean XKCD colors that are available, if I just run this up, okay after getting the uh, you get the plot and you'll get a dictionary dictionary items like this and there are like plenty of colors over here plenty of colors over here you can actually take them up and use them accordingly and let's see and to print all those xkcd colors i need to i need this line i need to run this line and finally there is this uh, some style plot style colors that are available there are actually, I mean, there are actually ten standard colors, plus air colors that go from C0 to C9. That is specifically that is specific for each and every style. Okay, to if, and so the plots that we have run so far, all of them go by this default option over here. All of them go by this default option over here. This MPL dot. Uh, if I import matplotlib with a name MPL. MPL, okay. I can use this MPL dot style dot use, and then I can set up the default different types of types of styles, and I will print run this up. There we go. There are like uh, ten colors inside each style, ten colors inside each style, and I can uh, use them use them uh, call them accordingly. So C zero C C zero is one style. I mean C zero is one color available in default. That is actually blue, and if I if I want I can use C one. which is actually an orange color so likewise there is actually colors over here you can actually check check for all the colors these are actually the tab sometimes sometimes similar to the tab view colors and if it, and uh, what and uh, if these colors change accordingly if i use a different style for instance there is another style called as c bond c bond okay here the colors are different so we just saw in uh, c0 we just saw we just saw C zero in the style um, default. It's actually green, blue color. And what about this? This is this is again blue, but a slight variation of blue, slight variation of blue. Instead, uh, let me use some uh, some other some other feature like ggplot. That's again another style that is available. This is similar to the plotting style of R. This is red color. So. This is red color. So if you notice, this, there there is a stark difference. The colors have a stark difference based on the um, styles you are using. So keep that in mind. And if you want to know what are the other styles styles that are available, you just have to run this line over here. MPL style dot MPL dot style dot available. And if you run this, if you run this. Okay, after getting the plot, you have all the styles that are available. For instance, you have C bond white, C bond white grid, C bond poster. Many of them are C bond C bond varieties. And then there is this grayscale, uh, uh, grayscale classic, which is the usual, uh, usual de facto standard color that we used to have in the earlier versions of Matplotlib. And like that's one of my favorites. And you can also use ggplot, which is actually the uh, how do I put it? R's plotting, R's, R programming language is plotting color scheme, and of course there are a few other ones you can just uh, search, uh, me play around with them and pick one of your choice. Okay. With that being said, that being said, that's all all the color option, coloring options that are available. So you can pick any one of the colors you want, and if you know, look at this, there, these color options are tremendously, uh, tremendously uh, plenty. So to know more in detail about all the colors over here. I'll just point you out to these web pages. There is actually a, there's actually this matplotlib web page over here, which which specifies all the colors. Actually, these are the no, these are the things I which I just copied and pasted in the code. So if you look at this, I'll have all the colors, and there is actually a comparison between the X11 or CSS4 colors and XKCD colors, and what their name means and all. So there is actually a stark difference between them. So be careful when you're using the colors. Okay, so they can be different. And similarly, there is this colors option, the matplotlib colors uh, web page, wherein they would have given all the details you want. Okay, all the details you want, and you can for generating colors, you can use any 
uh, hex, if you want to generate colors using hex strings, you can use uh, any online edit online generators that are available, or you can have your own generator that generate color generator pro software, and they can generate the hex code and the RGB coordinates for you. Or else, if you want to know, if you want to get an idea, of XKCD colors. XKCD colors they have a big list over here they have like 954 different colors over here with non-standard colors which have their own name name color view and a hex, hex string over here so you can copy and paste them up to run it up so th that's plenty and also you have the also you have the CSS uh, like the CSS uh, documentation over here which have their own inbuilt web safe web safe, col web safe colors with hex with uh, hex values and uh, RGB coordinates, so that's another option available. And of course, there is this ma in Matlab Matplotlib page itself. There are some default colors options they are given over here. All the default colors that are built inside Matplotlib, especially from uh, there's something called as base colors and CSS for colors. This is how they look like. You can you can just verify them. You can use the you can use these colors and uh, you know pick one of these colors whichever way whichever one you like. Any and use them in your plots. Okay, I'll put a link. I'll put copy all these uh, links in there. Put them in the description. At the same time, if I look at the program over here, I put all the references. I put all the references over here, so that uh, you can have a look at. You can have a look at them at whenever you're convenient. Okay. Now that's all I have for you all in this video. In this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.